Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about yet another PDF editor for Windows 11. And this is a new software that is coming to the market. And I think it's a pretty good software that deserves a try. So in this video, we're going to talk about a first soft PDF. And I'm going to showcase some of the most important features about a first soft PDF in this video. So at the base, this is an AI powered PDF editor, which you can use to, of course, view, annotate, edit, convert, organize, create and summarize PDFs. And with only one license, you can use the software across all platforms. So I think that is pretty nice. For the purpose of this video i have here an article from tech based which i'm going to insert in the software by just dragging and dropping it to the main interface and as you can see it automatically opened up the interface of the software i can maximize the software to see all the information better as you can see it is a really intuitive and simple interface we have two sidebars one of the left one of the right we have the main menu up top and also a menu that will help us below to view the pages change the zoom in and so on of course as in every editor you can use control plus the scroll wheel to scroll a newer PDF document or you can use the plus and the minus here at the bottom which is really simple. Now first of all let me show you how to edit a PDF document using this software. You can go to the edit section and here you're going to have some options that you can use. For example you have the hand which will allow you to move around the PDF document freely. You have select, have edit which will allow you to edit text. It automatically detects the text inside the PDF document so you can easily edit things as you go. As you can see this is really really nice. You can also add text if you want and of course if you select where to add the text have options to change the font the size of course you have different things that you can apply to the font and then you can also add an object if you want for example i'm going to insert here a text text paste really really simple we also have the option to crop the page if we want so for example the page is too wide you can crop it really easily by dragging that and then clicking on apply and then you also have crop settings which you can use to get some in-depth information about the cropping that you're using and then after you're done you can click on apply you can easily convert pdfs using the software you can go to the convert section and then here you have the option to create a PDF. By clicking on this, you're going to be able to insert a file that is not a PDF document, of course, and convert it to PDF. And also, if you have a PDF document opened, as I do right now, you can convert it to Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Image, PDF, and more. As you can see, this is really simple. And you also have Batch Convert, which will allow you to convert multiple files. I'm going to save the changes to that. And from here, as you can see, I can add multiple files and convert them to different formats. I think that is also pretty interesting. For example, let's convert our article go to a JPEG image and click on convert and let's see how this was done as you can see it was done pretty fast and the quality is there and every page was converted successfully to a JPEG file if you want to organize a PDF document you can just go to the page section and from here you have a lot of options for example if you're unhappy with the order of the pages you can switch around it's really really simple as you can see it's really easy to do that and you can change the orientation of certain pages for example I can select this page and orientate it like this anti-clockwise or clockwise really Really, really simple. You can also crop pages from here. So again, if you want to do that, you're going to be automatically redirected to the edit section if you want to crop pages. And of course, make sure to use the control S keyboard combination to save the changes that you've done to the PDF document. Also, you have here the option select page and you can add a page range and you also have some suggestions that you can apply to this PDF document. I think that is pretty interesting. Also in the home section, we have an interesting thing which is called OCR and then you can click on it and you're going to have to download the OCR component which will download very, very fast and then we can use the OCR function. After the OCR download is completed, you can click on OK and then go and select OCR again. And then you have the scan option. So for example, I'm just going to select the current page and then we're going to scan to editable text. And then the language recognition is English. You have certain languages that you can use, of course, some of the most popular languages. Also, you can select multiple languages if you want. And then you can click on perform OCR and the process will start and it should be pretty fast. As you can see, the text is successfully detected and we can easily select it if we want. Of course, we can easily Easily edited if we want it's really really simple and one thing that I didn't mention when you select a text you can just highlight it if you want using these simple tools and from here you can change the colors if you want as easy as that the software all around is really really simple to use and we haven't even got to the best part which is the AI function of the software basically if we click on a first soft AI we can click on start and then click on yes and then we're gonna agree to the above terms and then click on agree and then we're gonna be able to summarize our PDF document really really easily using the AI from the software and as you can see, the page that we have selected because we are in the article OCR section was successfully summarized. And this is a great test to see if the AI function is working well, because as I've said, this is a detected text and you can easily summarize it. And this is not being a PDF document created with the software, but with a third party tool. It just shows that the software is, is doing a pretty good job by detecting the text and then allowing you to summarize it really easily. So of course, if you're a student or you need to summarize a really, really big PDF document, you can simply use the A4 
first soft PDFA function, you can easily summarize your PDF document. Additional functions that this software has, it has the thumbnail function, the bookmarks, and also comment list. And also you have a button that opens the properties section. And also you have the dedicated comment section where you can highlight, underline, and more things that you can apply to the PDF document. If you're interested to try out a first soft PDF, you can try it for free. And also you can unlock a 30% discount on the pro version if you check out the description below. So if you enjoyed this video and if you enjoyed a first soft PDF, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.